When man decides to play the king of the jungle, nature could give him an unexpected lesson. And that's exactly what happened in these astonishing stories. Hello, I'm Abby, and today on Trend Max, I'll tell you about animals that declared war on entire nations, and some even emerged victorious, from epic confrontations to unusual tactics. Get ready to discover how these animals put countries in check. Ready for this wild adventure? Let's begin. Animals that declared war on countries in some one. Number one. Well, it turns out that 60 years ago, China declared war on sparrows. Yes, you heard that right, sparrows. It sounds like a movie plot, doesn't it? But we're not talking about science fiction. We're talking about real history. The leader of this nation, Mao Zedong, decided that these little beings were the supervillains in his epic tale of agricultural progress. So what did he do? He turned the entire country against them. The plan? Eliminate them all. The strategy to get rid of sparrows included tactics that make any super spy blush. Picture this. Citizens armed with pots and pans, creating a deafening noise to keep the birds flying until they drop from the sky due to exhaustion. I know it sounds like something out of an absurd comedy, but it was a painful reality. Now, here comes the plot twist. What happens when you remove a leading actor from our ecosystem? Well, nature has its own rules and doesn't like abrupt changes in the cast. Without sparrows to keep pests in check, locusts became the new stars of the show, and they sure gave a devastating performance. Crop fields became their main stage, causing a famine that no one had anticipated. This tragic story teaches us something. Sometimes, in an attempt to solve one problem, we create a much bigger one. And when it comes to nature, it's best not to underestimate the small actors. Who would have thought that such insignificant birds could play such a crucial role in a nation's history? But brace yourself, because what comes next is even more surprising. Number two, have you ever heard about a war against birds? Are you serious? No, it's not a joke. It happened in Australia in 1932. Amid the Great Depression, Western Australia was dealing with an unusual invader, 20,000 emus. Yup, because these huge birds, reaching up to almost seven feet and with a speed rivaling some cars, became a real nightmare for farmers. I'm serious. These normally peaceful birds gathered like teenagers at a concert, drawn to the new and juicy crops of war veterans. Imagine the chaos locks of giant birds traversing fields and wrecking havoc on crops. A true all-you-can-eat buffet for emus. Facing this challenge, the Australian government decided, how about we declare war on emus? I would have thought twice. That's when Major Meredith, leading the charge and armed to the teeth, started a mission that sounded like a walk in the park because these emus were no joke. They were like feathered ninjas, dodging bullets with a video game-worthy agility. The operation quickly turned into the joke of the year, with soldiers shooting away and emus in a survival dance, somersaulting between bullets. The Great Emu War, as it was nicknamed, became synonymous with a comedic disaster and an epic government failure. Emus, against all odds, continued to roam freely. Oops! This crazy adventure leaves me thinking. Underestimating your enemy, even if it's a large and seemingly clumsy bird, can lead you into a war you didn't expect to lose. Emus 1, Human 0. And while we digest this hilarious battle, let's get ready to meet another unexpected warrior from the animal kingdom. Number 3. A battle where crocodiles are the main antagonists? Yes. This is the story of Ramri Island, where in 1945, Japanese soldiers faced an unexpected danger. Imagine, a group of Japanese soldiers fleeing in the darkness, believing that their biggest concern was the British. But surprise, the real stars of the night were massive saltwater crocodiles hidden in the shadows of the mangroves. No, it's not a horror movie. It's a real episode from World War II. The soldiers, with more bravery than luck, tried to defend themselves by shooting at these giant reptiles. But in the chaos of the night, the crocodiles took control. Suddenly, the scene turned into a survival frenzy. Terrifying screams and the echo of crocodiles lurking. Fortunately, I was born in another era. Bruce S. Wright, a British witness and naturalist, described the scene as a genuine battlefield, with soldiers being dragged into the jaws of crocodiles. By dawn, 
Few survivors remained and vultures were already feasting. But here comes the interesting part. Years later, some questioned the magnitude of this supposed massacre. Was it truly a crocodile massacre? Or is it a story amplified by the passage of time? It seems that Ramry Island will forever remain in limbo between reality and myth. What do you think? Now, maintaining the suspense, let's move on to the next surprising story of animals at war. Number four. Buckle up because we're heading to the Wild West of 1871, where Buffalo Bill Cody and a bunch of New York millionaires embarked on an adventure of hunting in Nebraska. But pay attention, I'm not talking about a Sunday fishing trip. This was a bison hunt, those hairy giants that dominated the prairies, mistakenly called buffaloes by them. But it's not as simple as it sounds. This hunt was part of a dark strategy by the U.S. Army because it turns out that hunting became a tool to control Native Americans, eliminating their main source of sustenance. This was just the beginning. The 1873 Economic Depression intensified the hunt, with hunters flooding the market with hides of the species. In the blink of an eye, the Great Plains became an animal graveyard. Out of millions of bisons, only a few hundred survived by the end of the 19th century. Now, here comes the ironic twist. The nearly exterminated American bison is today the national mammal of the United States, considered a symbol of resilience and survival. Who would have thought? God! Yeah! From ruthless hunting to a national icon, life takes unexpected turns. So, as we reflect on the saga of survival and power, let's move on to the next story. Number 5. Attention to this plot worthy of a spy movie, but with a cast of goats like never seen before. Let's go back to 1959 in the Galapagos Islands. Some fishermen decide to leave three goats on Pinta Island, possibly thinking about future barbecues, but unaware that they were writing the first act of a story of survival and destruction. Hear me out. By 1970, those three goats had multiplied to 40,000. Yes, 40,000. We often talk about reproducing like rabbits, but these goats take the grand prize. The island, which was once a paradise, turned into an all-you-can-eat buffet for the goats, but a disaster for vegetation and local species, including our friend Lonesome George, the last giant tortoise of Pinta. It was at that moment when the Ecuadorian government launched Operation Isabella, a mission that seems taken from an action movie. The touch of ecological drama, the strategy, hunters in helicopters, shooting left and right in a scene that would make anyone pale. The island turned into a battlefield. But the real spy plot begins with the Judas goats. Are you curious? Let me tell you. These were double agent goats, sterilized and hormonally manipulated to be in constant heat. How mischievous. Ew! These undercover temptresses managed to lure the fugitive goats, making them easy targets for the hunters. And by 2006, mission accomplished. Not a single goat remained on the island. Despite the success, the story has its tragic side. Our friend, Lonesome George, didn't get to see his home restored and passed away in 2012. Today, the Galapagos Islands are in the process of recovery, but with park rangers on high alert to prevent future Capron invasions. Well, there you have it, a story where the goats, although not victorious, stole the show with a plot that even Hollywood's best screenwriter couldn't imagine. In the game of survival, sometimes humans have to play the villains to achieve a greater good. It seems that, in this case, the goats taught us that even in defeat, they can be the stars of an unforgettable ecological adventure. And before we say goodbye, check out our top 5 commenters. Who knows, you could be one of the featured ones. If you've been captivated by this journey through amazing stories where animals are the unexpected protagonists, don't stop here. Subscribe to the channel for more. Hit like and turn on notifications to dive into more extraordinary adventures. Don't miss the incredible videos we have prepared for you.